Well, of course, Sight Series is based on two characters that were formed in the uh, live comedy act from yourselves. And was it always the intention to one day write a screenplay based around them? It wasn't, no. We, we, the intention was to do them just as comedy characters on, a, on stage. And uh, uh, the, screenplay, the screenplay idea came later, really, didn't it? I think it in our a... wildest dreams, we would have turned it into a screenplay. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, both of us... I mean, you went to film school, didn't you? Yeah. Or you studied film. Studied and film, yeah. I've always watched them. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I think both of us would have, you know, would be pretty surprised if we could time travel to know that we'd... That we'd done it. That we'd managed yeah. to pull it off. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we just uh, we just thought they were funny. The idea of those characters being brummies who kill people and then go to castles, and <laughs> we thought that was funny. And it, that it was as simple as that. And I think we originally tried to do it as a TV idea, and then we, you know, through many little twists and turns, we we became a film script. Yeah. Of course, as they are characters you created and the screenplay you wrote, were you quite protective over them and quite selective over who you got to to direct the movie? Uh, yes, I think yes. It's, it's probably fair to say. I mean, um, you know, I think we were really lucky to get Ben on board because I think once we met him, it was we we knew him from before actually, but we had we saw lots of different directors, and it is quite a hard thing to hand over your your baby, especially because we've been working on it for five years. So yeah, we knew that we wanted someone who got it, who you know got the sense of humour of it, and the but also. Um, you know that was that we liked and got on with, which was lucky. Yeah, it needed it needed it needed to. Like Ben was so so relaxed about you know us doing our thing, and he just let us do do the characters basically as they were. You know, and he didn't didn't try and particularly change them. So that was, you know, that was really good. And he he sort of saw the potential and ran with it. But at yeah. the same time, you know, we knew he was going to bring his own sort of special magic to whatever he yeah, was going to do. Yeah, like sick, dark and twisted <laughs> stuff like we do. And it just seemed <laughs> quite easy for us to work together, you know. Of course, you both have uh, predominantly your careers uh, before this have been centred around comedy. And uh, Ben has done, a, obviously, killed this very dark movie. Do you think that the fact that your comedy and his dark side sort of collect, was that the sort of what made this film so special, that kind of collaborative effort? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we'd seen Down Terrace when we asked Ben to do the film, and, uh, which, it, which is a bit sort of gentler than Kill List, I think, it's his first film. But Ben has directed TV comedies, so we knew he'd got the I mean, funny We know bones. him from the comedy scene, you know, that's where we know him from, and so, like suddenly, almost out of nowhere, he created this in, insanely dark movie called <laughs> Kill List, and you just go, where did that come from? I thought he was director, director of Ideal, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but at the same time, you know, both of our comedy sort of leanings are really, really dark. So, um, you know, this was this film was initially rejected as a TV idea because it was too dark. So I think, you know, we sort of met somewhere in the middle in terms of um, what we're interested in and what we what we like. So it was much made in heaven, really. <laughs> the film is equally as funny as it is, well, quite disturbing. Uh, <laughs> was it quite difficult to strike that balance and be be able to kind of you know, affect the audience as much as make them laugh. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that was uh, the the hardest part of it. I think was was getting that, and we because we I think we were always quite confident in the d delivering comedy and performing comedy, uh, and but with the characters, we really worked on them being authentic and being real, and doing a lot of research into serial killers, uh, as well as you know just trying to make make them feel believable. And we thought that as long if we could do that, we we'd have a good chance of people going with us and staying with it through the whole film. Yeah, we didn't want to be too flippant about the characters. No. We wanted them to be really sort of, you know, that you could empathise with them because we knew the whole key to the film was you believing these characters and wanting to go on this journey with them. And if you didn't want to go on the journey with them, then you wouldn't enjoy the film. So You don't want it to be carry on camping with <laughs> murders. Do you know what I mean? Like, be, like yeah. you know, stupid flippant being flippant about something like that I think you know it might be funny in a sketch but for for two minutes but for a whole film I think you've I th got to, I think yeah. it's actors as well you know you, you you want psychological depth to the characters so that was the the bonus of knowing that we were going to play these parts as well as you kind of knew that they had to have some meat and some dimension to them as characters they've got meat in more, got more, meat. more ways than one there's lots of meat <laughs> in this film Human meat. <laughs> Was it quite difficult as actors to sort of get into the heads of, of, of a serial killer? No. <laughs> it was easy to get into the head of a serial killer. Because we, one of the 
striking things about the, our research was how you know normal every every killer was, and so in a way, it was it was it, the it was one of the easiest aspects was just play it, play it, play it, play it for real, just playing like normal people who were slightly damaged. The difference with them is that they kill people rather than going have you know, a phobia rather than of have, tomatoes, for example, yeah, they, which would be another quirk that someone else might have. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's really exciting. Lots of squished tomatoes. It's horrific. Well, you are both from the Midlands. And, I mean, although you are quite different to Chris and Tina, I mean, do you think that the fact you come from sort of similar surroundings helps sort of get into the characters? Absolutely. That was where it came yeah. from, really. Uh, the the fact that we were both from the Midlands was the starting point, really, for us improvising these characters and just going into. And they they come from our childhoods as well. The the whole idea of the journey, you know, the the trip to visit tourist spots. It was very it's very something we feel quite affectionate for because that's what we did when we were kids with that with our families and uh, yeah that the, the, just that that it just feels quite like it's our. Hope, you know, that's, yeah. it's our thing. There's something know. interesting about the Midlands as well. Is it's like you can't have this pride of being from the north or from being from London, or it's it's got less of a sort of clear identity as a place. So that was really interesting to us. These characters that you know feel that they haven't got a place in society, or they don't, they're outsiders, and so they're searching for something. And I think that really you know was the inspiration for these characters. Well, it's it's, it's uh, and it's also that thing of doing people from the Midlands and in a in a film that where they're they're the they're the leads and like you don't get many many brummies being the lead lead characters in movies which is a shame there should be more and uh make doing it you know they, they're killer they're killers so they're cool aren't they <laughs> but they wear caggles and they're from Birmingham you know it's, it's something we're quite sort of proud of that you know putting the Midlands on the map and we can kill people <laughs> and be cool in films too do you know what I mean and the film has been a sort of <laughs> success agree. on the festival circuit, and I mean, I find it an extremely British film, and I mean that as a compliment. But I've yeah. been quite surprised at the reception it's received around the world from audiences that aren't British. Yeah, it's I've... been really surprising. Every time we've shown it in a different country, we've been nervous that the humour won't translate, or that people will be offended by it, or you know, they just won't get it. And every time, it seemed to be, it seemed to have worked. So far, touch wood, and. Um, I don't know, I think people identify with the feeling of um, going on holiday. I think everybody has, you know, tried to have fun on holiday and found it more stressful than they <laughs> intended to. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, that strange experience of coming across people that you don't get on with and that you can't control when you're on holiday who you're going to meet and, and they're going to be different to you and how do you cope with that. So I think that's quite an international kind of... And also Feeling. murder and sex and a small dog. You know, that, <laughs> those three things are pretty universal, aren't they? Mm. And I think, I think, yeah. And maybe it's because they're laughing at the British as well. They're we laughing probably at don't us. know. They're yeah, laughing maybe. at us, <laughs> going, "Yeah, you are that nerdy." <laughs> That's what British people are like. Because <laughs> they impossible. are sort of absurdly polite as well, and that was something that we always always made us laugh. The idea of really polite um, serial killers that would be like, "Oh, sorry," you know. <laughs> You know, they've they've got their sort of little manners and they'd, they'd always wait in the queue, you know, Chris and Tina, they would be very strict about that. You know, you've got a queue for stuff. And pick up litter. Yeah, pick up, pick litter, up litter. Yeah. All these kinds of things. Watch out. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time anyway. Much Absolute pleasure. Thanks.